This old firehouse, a New York City landmark originally built in 1884, used to save lives. Now its mission would be to change lives by creating a state-of-the-art media center. So it was really a concept of really empowering the community, of turning from media watchers to media makers. Training the next generation of local producers, directors, reporters, and technicians. MNN is Manhattan Neighborhood Network. We're a 15-year-old public access center. Now what, what in fact we're doing is we're really adding to uh, the cultural and architectural history of the borough of Manhattan because we're taking the firehouse and making it happen again. This time as a media center, not as a firehouse. I'd definitely like to participate in that. You know, if they do open it up over there, I'm, you know, I want to come over there and, and learn more about it. You know, I mean, I like being on the camera, but I like to be behind the camera. I've been excited for about a year and a half because they've been talking about this for a while. A daughter of East Harlem, Melissa Nieves is the director of adult education at the Union Settlement House. She's excited about new technology and the ability to create new media. What we've discovered with this project was that even though we tackled stories that were really hard, we, we dealt with stories about gentrification, about domestic violence, there was different things happening. There was one, enjoyment, because media production is a lot of fun, it's very exciting, but also that people found the freedom in telling their stories. When they said that they were going to reopen this firehouse, I was trying to imagine walking down 104th Street, waiting for galloping horses to come out of here to put out a fire. Now, whenever we walk through this block, we will know that in this block is this historic building. We've gutted the building, and the construction folks are digging now, and they should be finished in about eight months or so, we will come in and put in uh, equipment, broadcast equipment, which has to go in in a dust-free environment, and we'll integrate all our studio lighting and broadcast equipment, and that'll take several more months after that. Renovation started last September. The five floors are designed to include a reception area, equipment rooms, editing stations, a youth media lab, classrooms, and a conference room. One of the things we've learned is this great technology and the great media, 200 newspapers here, 200, 300 radio and TV operations, we're now bringing this technology and opportunity to the people of El Barrio and more importantly, to the kids of East Harlem. I'm down okay. and then they, it's a bit of a process, you have to let the concrete dry. Right. Amina Yoba and Cedric Smith dries, represent uh, the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone. They monitor <laughs> the $500,000 investment in equipment for the new center. And we see this as one project that will most certainly enrich the community by providing access to individuals who may not have access to the larger society to learn the skills that the Manhattan Network Service is going to provide. I think to have it in East Harlem, you know, provides an opportunity for a community that's been historically underserved to have access to new media. The concrete is being poured. It will form the foundation for opportunity where Manhattan residents will be empowered to communicate their art, culture, and aspirations. For more information, please visit the Manhattan Neighborhood Network's website at www.mnn.org.